Hello everyone, welcome to the Tech Eddie Show. I'm your host, Eddie Ray, where we do tips, tricks, and tutorial videos for live streamers, gamers, and content creators. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to import your Facebook feed from your page or your group directly into your WordPress website. Stay tuned. So this is our third tutorial video teaching you how to integrate different social media channels directly into your WordPress website. We covered both Instagram and YouTube. So if this interests you at all, let me know. I'll put the links below in the description. But today it's Facebook and they're all by the same development team. So check it out. Okay, so here we go. Keep in mind, uh, I recommend importing a Facebook page, like a brand page or a group if you have both. Uh, you gotta choose one over the other one, so whatever one would be best for your needs. But today we'll be using my Nintendo Report website. This is my gaming website. So go to the dashboard here, left hand sidebar. I'm gonna click on plugins and add new. Perfect. We'll search for the plugin. Smash Balloon Facebook. And they recently changed the name of some of their plugins, so do search for Smash Balloon Facebook. And here it is on the left hand side, it's Smash Balloon Social Post Feed, formerly known as Custom Facebook Feed. Uh, display completely customizable Facebook feeds on any public Facebook page on your website, again by Smash Balloon. And look at this, 200 plus thousand active installations. That's a good sign that it's good. And they have five star rating over 1200 of those. So that's awesome. They also update their plugins often with bug fixes and tweaks and additions. So three hours ago, a last update, that's pretty cool. But for today, uh, click on install. Once it installs, click activate and they'll be good to go. So once that's all done, go to your sidebar here and look for Facebook feed. Then click on settings. We'll go over the basic settings of integrating this into your WordPress website. And then I'll kind of summarize what's all available here to you in the free version. Once again, uh, there's also a pro version for these plugins. If you're not familiar with Smash Balloon, they offer a free version and then pro versions. Uh, they usually give you more additions and customizations in the pro version. But for today and for my needs right now, actually, I just need the free version. It's pretty handy to me. So go to log in here at the top, the big blue button, get your access token. So click this blue button. And then here you will choose either your page or Facebook group. For me, it's a page. We'll click on continue here. All right, so we'll continue as me. Now I already linked this, of course, so that's why it says that up top there about linking it already. But go through the process, it'll be really similar. And then here you go. So if you have multiple Facebook pages, you can then choose which one you wanna use. But for me, here it is, Nintendo Report. We'll click on that and click connect. And boom, it's pretty much connected now directly to your Facebook account. Uh, you can manually connect or remove primary feed. Also add other feeds here in the settings. All right, so in the main settings here, is it a page or a group? We did a page, so it's on page. You can also do profiles, however, I probably would not recommend doing that just because of the fact that, uh, well, you never know what gets put onto your profile depending upon your privacy settings. So I would recommend page or group. You can show posts on page by you only. If others post to your page, you can also show that, including you or just other people. Uh, for me though, I recommend putting it on only the page owner. It's probably your best and safest bet, at least for now. You can change how many posts are displayed here by entering in a number between one and 100. So that's kind of cool. Facebook API post limit, keep it on auto. Then you have the plugin check for new posts uh, by the hour, by days or by minutes and enter in your number into the field here Then your language setting and time zone setting and save and you're pretty much set. Now we actually have to integrate this directly into our WordPress website with the short code. So here we go, the most important part, display your feed, copy and paste the short code directly into your page or a post or even a widget. So we'll copy and paste this, highlight it, right click and copy. 
And down below, it does show you what the Facebook Feed Pro does. It can display photos and albums, embed videos, there'll be pop-ups, you can add advanced events as well, uh, likes, shares, comments, reactions, more layout options, filtering options. So pretty cool features here with the Pro version, but for me and for now, I think free is good enough. Let's go to the top here and click on new. We'll make a post out of this. But again, you can put this wherever you want to, um, in a page, in a widget, in a post. So we'll say Facebook feed. This will be your title. And of course, enter the short code directly into here. Control V or right click and paste. And we'll click publish. And it's as simple as that, literally, with not even customizing anything, we have it all set up here. We'll click view your post, and boom, our Facebook feed is now directly integrated within WordPress. So here's a title, Facebook feed, and here is the plugin, and here's the feed itself. So Facebook posts, what's cool is they do show you your avatar, your profile icon here for your page or your group and the page name is also linkable. So then click this and go right to your Facebook page if they wanted to. Then it has the posts right here in order from the recent one hour ago. What I like about this it also has hashtags and they're clickable, that's kind of cool. Links are still clickable here as well. It's a lot of gray here because I do have ads running on this site so it kind of is acting a little bit weird with the ads but that's just AdSense really. Not really a problem with the plugin itself. Now with this version, you don't get any kind of video embeds or photos or albums showing. That is in the pro version. Uh, so if you like that showing up in your feed, do consider getting the pro version. But it looks pretty good without even having those photos or whatever showing up, I think. Yeah, so hashtags, again, links are all intact here as well. It's even YouTube. So that goes to YouTube itself. And the posts are all broken up here by the dotted line, as you can see. And then the Facebook box at the bottom here, the little widget box has your avatar, number of likes. It also shows you your friends and fans who liked your page. Cool little feature there at the bottom. And this is actually customizable here as well. So really simple to do to integrate Facebook directly into your WordPress website. All right, we're gonna actually delete this page, click on edit, move to trash. Cool, because what I do wanna show you is this. I did have it set up earlier on on my website, so. I have a different title. I also have a featured image too, which gives it a nice little flair. So if you're able to use a nice featured image for this, uh, do choose one. I think it makes the post or page look better. So here it is, Nintendo Report Facebook feed. We'll click on this. And again, the featured images here are just through WordPress itself, not through the actual plugin. But it posts this down above your plugin, so it looks nice. Then here's a plugin below. So we actually have an ad show, but that's good because before the ad was not there. So that's kind of nice it actually shows up this time. But yeah, all the Facebook posts are here and I have it set up with my sidebar as well. So I kind of like this integrated this way instead, my sidebar showing you the way I have it actually on the website. Cool. Let me show you some more of the options now. Go back to the dashboard. Go to Facebook feed and click on customize. All right, so we'll briefly summarize most of this stuff here. Uh, you can change the width, the height of your feed, and also the padding of your feed too. And by setting this, this will actually set how much space is around uh, the actual Facebook feed itself. So you can kind of customize and adjust if you have to for your WordPress theme. You can also change the color right here from the full color palette. So here we have a section of post types. Uh, only show these types of posts. You can't uncheck these though, because these are all relegated to the pro version. So right now with the free version, you're stuck to having everything showing up, whether it's an event being posted to your page uh, or group or a video or a link, uh, it will all of course show up in your feed. But with pro version, you can choose what shows and what does not. All right, you can show the feed header. The header allows you to display text and the icon at the top of your feed. You can customize the text, style, and layout of the header using the settings below. So that's kind of cool. So you saw my feed earlier said Facebook posts. You can change that right here if you wanted to. 
And again, you can change coloring here, sizing of text, weight of the text as well from normal or bold, or also inherit the theme of the text from your website, which is a nice little feature. You can also change the icon, different Facebook icons here, people, photos. So if you're integrating a Facebook group to your profile, you can also choose one of these, maybe more suitable, there's tickets as well. So that's kind of cool, and video. Lots of options here in the icon. And also the coloring and the size of the icon can be changed right here. Then like box and page plugin. I click on yes to show this. And that's what I showed you earlier on. I had the profile picture, I had the little banner as well, number of likes, and also your fans showed up there too. Uh, this can be shown at the bottom of the feed or top of the feed. I had it at the bottom. You can uncheck this to not show fans or yes, show fans, keep it checkmarked. And also change the width of that here too. So lots of options there to customize the Facebook feed. And now post layout. So I'm not gonna go over everything in detail here just because the fact that uh, it's really customizable to what you wanna do and what you wanna show here. Uh, a lot of this has different coloring options and text sizing options. So if it's not quite the way you want it to look on your website, you can also just change it in the options here. So you can show and hide different things as far as author name and avatar, uh, the post text, description text, dates, links, titles, action links, that kind of thing. So. If you want less to show, if it looks cluttered, you can kind of deselect some of these here and kind of tweak things to your needs. Click on style posts. So this is a nice little feature here. Uh, you can have a regular, how I had it here, and then displaying the feed, or on boxed. Boxed pretty much separates uh, each Facebook post into its own little light box, pretty much. So it may look a little bit better for you on the website. But again, you have the option here from regular or boxed in the free version, that's nice. You can also choose a separating line color and the thickness of the line too. You can change the size and coloring for the post author and the post text. You can change the length of the text showing up from 200, 400, whatever you like. Formatting, again, text size, weight color, link color. Lots of options here. Also, same options here for shared post description and the post dates. Again, text color, sizing, text weight, formatting. That's all available to you, to you here in the free version of the plugin. And then for the shared link boxes, you can change the background color of the boxes and the borders too. And link URLs here, coloring uh, and description sizes and colors too. If you're using groups, you have event title customization options here for formatting, text sizes, and event dates and details. And then post action links down here at the bottom. So even with the free version here, you're still able to kind of customize how it looks on your website. And I like that a lot about Smash Balloon and what they give you here for the free version. And then miscellaneous, pretty much last but not least, you can do custom CSS or custom JavaScript media. This is relegated here to the pro version only. And some miscellaneous settings here too. If you have a Facebook page that's restricted, you can click this as well. But most of these options here are kind of let just alone. So there you have it. There's lots of options here to customize things, even with the free version. And that's what I like. Uh, as with all of Smash Balloon's plugins so far, I found they're really easy to use, integrate, and get set up within a few minutes. Let me know what you thought of this plugin in the comments below. And do you use it? I want to know that as well. Thanks for watching the Tech Eddie Show. I'm Eddie Ray. We'll see you back here next time.